Hey everyone, welcome back to Pearls of Eden. Thank you for joining me. Uh, in current news, we've been talking about Bishop Patrick Wooden, and it appears as though he is staying in front of the headlines because of the controversial topics that he has been speaking out on. We know that when you stand on truth, you know, they are going to come after you. If you're not standing on the truth and you're just going along with the crowd, then they're not worried about you. You are no threat. But the moment you stand on truth, well, everybody's looking at you, right? And so Bishop Patrick Wooden goes before his congregation and asks for prayer. And this is something that I talked to you all about in the pr uh, previous video when we were talking about him, how important it is that we cover him with prayer that no weapon formed against him shall prosper. The weapons may form, okay? but that they shall not prosper. I want you to take a listen to what Bishop Patrick Wooden says to his congregation. This is real, you all. We cannot afford to miss an opportunity to cover our men and women of God in prayer because the spiritual warfare that we war against, it's not carnal, right? We use mighty weapons of warfare to pull down strongholds. And we can do that through our prayers and lifting up and interceding for Patrick, Patrick Wooden, Bishop Patrick Wooden. Take a look at what he has to say to his congregation. I asked your pastor before I mentioned what I'm going to mention to you. I, I got his permission. And what I'm about to say uh, to you tonight, uh, I will repeat, but the first time that I... Um, revealed this or made this known or have spoken this publicly uh, my wife knows uh, is to you and uh, I'm telling you and I said to uh, Apostle Quick I want, I want to tell the saints because the saints know how to pray um, uh, uh, a dear child of God got in touch with me they called and left a message, and, and when I got the message, Brother Bench and I told my wife about it, and then, uh, but I had, I heard the voice bell. But when I talked to the child of God, then I realized, I said, okay, I need to, to, to talk to others about this. Um, and when I talked, I was talking to her on the way here, and she said, I just wanted to thank you for calling me. I just want you to know that uh, some people who were in the trans lifestyle, trans man, trans woman, you know, these trans, they got delivered and they, they, they got set free by the blood of Jesus. But apparently they're on the list uh, of people who gets the call when the community it wants to zero in and target someone. And she said that when they got the call, they knew someone who knew her and knew of her respect for me. And so she wanted to relay the message to me that the, the these trans, the trans community is going to target me. And... Um, uh, and she said, I, I just think that you want to know that. I don't know uh, what the strategy will be or what they plan to do. Maybe they'll show up and heckle or whatever the case may be. But, you know, these people are demon-possessed. they got the devil in them. And they've heard what you've had to say, and, and they don't like it. And so they want to target me. And I said, well, uh, I don't take that lightly. I didn't dismiss it. Even when I got divorced, meal, I went downstairs in our home. I went to our prayer room and I laid before the, I took it before the Lord. Um, but you know how to pray. So I've given God my prayers and I, I want your prayers. Now, one thing is for certain, there is zero chance that I'm getting ready to change my positions or our doctrine or what we have to say. There's zero chance of that. Zero chance of that. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, something like that encourages you to want to do more. Because you see, one of the things that Satan, and I'm not going to preach about this, but I'll share this with you. Satan wants the truth hid. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't care if the truth exists. Because he can't stop the truth from existing. He just wants it 
hid. Yeah, interesting, right? So we know that there is one accuser of the brethren, and that is Satan and his minions. So think it not strange when strange fire comes at men and women of God, when the accusations begin to roll in. We never know how they will form the weapons, but one thing that we can say is that it will not prosper. Even though you're going through tests and trials, even though it seems like all eyes are on you and the enemy is forming his weapon through accusations, persecution, mockery, whatever it is that he uses, it will not prosper. In the end, it will come to nothing. We just have to hold strong, stand firm in the truth of God and lift our men and women of God in prayer because you never know when it'll be your turn to go through the fire. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. I love you to life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.